Good morning from the Haver Farm. Earlier this month, we had such an adventure removing a natural beehive from a sycamore tree that had fallen after Hurricane Isaias. We posted about it on our Instagram story, but in case you missed it, here is a recap. We started by taking out as much of the hive as we could. Um, so we've got it in a box over here. And um, when we first put it in there, there were a ton of bees. And we thought that we had gotten the queen, even though we couldn't see her. Um, we thought that she was in there, so we covered the box mostly and just left a little door open, hoping that more bees would leave the log and enter into the box to follow the queen. Came back 30 minutes later and the box is pretty much empty, so we need to find the queen. <laughs> um, she is deep in this log somewhere, so we're figuring out if we need to cut this log or how we're going to do it. I'll update you soon! All right, so this is the current state of the hive. Um, my good buddy, Mike P, cut the top off for us. Uh, he was trying to just cut along like this part where we knew the wax wasn't connected. Unfortunately, we got into the hive a little bit, so um, cut through some beeswax. We're really hoping we didn't hurt too many bees or especially not kill the queen. Um, you, as you can see, the entrance is totally clear now. So now the plan is to try to remove as much of this comb as possible. Um, there are really not very many bees around here right now, so I'm hopeful that they're all in there and that they haven't swarmed and left already, but we will find out. All right, I've just started getting the comb out of the center of the trunk, and there are very few bees in the trunk now. So I am starting to feel a little bit more convinced that they swarmed. I'm going to turn the camera and see if you can see. They're buzzing around. Um, there's a bunch kind of hanging out on these boxes, eating the honey that they can find. But there should be tons and tons of bees clumped up in the hive, and there are none. So I'm feeling like it's likely that they swarmed. I hope they settled on a branch nearby. Um, It'll definitely be easier to capture a swarm and get the queen than try to get out this whole hive. All right, great news. Oh, I'm so happy. I found the swarm. There it is. Can you see them? Right there. Hallelujah. I'm so glad it's close. Now I just need to figure out how to get up there. So like Tilly told you all earlier, the bees swarmed. So we're gonna get here tomorrow with a high lift and try to take them down uh, with the two people team. We're hoping they don't leave and decide to move somewhere else. So we'll keep y'all updated. Hi everybody, we're uh, up in the high lift. Uh, thanks to the Arboretum, we just shook the hive. Um, we got a bunch of bees inside of the box. Now we're just waiting around to see if they all filter inside of the box. Hoping that we were able to shake this branch and get the queen down inside of there, so. Just a quick update, we have most of the bees at the box. We think there's a pretty good chance we were able to get the queen. And so we're just up here waiting to see if most of them end up at inside of the box uh, before we um, make the trip down. Um, but they were completely calm and docile bees. And it was a lot of fun uh, having the opportunity to do this. So thank you. So this is the last update. We are done. We finished getting the swarm out of the tree. There are, there are no bees left up in the dogwood. Um, now they are down in this Tupperware box, uh, which is our temporary box where, until we can put them in a wood hive down at the farm. So we're going to let the bees kind of continue to collect there, but we're ready to move it down to the farm pretty soon. Uh, this was a super fun process for Kenyatta and me. We learned a lot and it was, it was a lot of fun. So thanks for following along. Hope to see you at the farm sometime in 2021. <laughs>